So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, chapter five of control system, and uh, we are going to just discuss some basics of this chapter. And in the next video, we will start solving problems on the basis of some topics. So, what is spa state space analysis? State space analysis means according to the state of the control system we are going to analyze its behavior is it stable or unstable or what is the behavior of the system so let's say there is a system and its state is m it has n number of inputs and m number of outputs here the state is minimal set of variables and knowledge of these variables at uh, t is equals to t naught together with the input t greater than t naught to is to completely determine the behavior of the system so let's write whatever i have spoke so this is the point that i have discussed that a state is a minimum set of variables and knowledge of these variables at t is equals to t naught together with the inputs at t greater than t naught to completely determine the behavior of the system and uh, what are state variables you know state variable is a set of variables which determine the system dynamicity it means it determines the how the system how much the system is dynamic it is a minimal set of variables which determine dynamicity of a system these are denoted by so now a term comes that is state vector so the collection of these state variables is nothing but a state vector so n set of this is denoted by x of t and it contains two of t up to so on x n of t now a term is co comes that is state space so this state space is a n dimensional space whose coordinate axes have n number of state variables that which completely determines the behavior of the system so it is a n dimensional So up till these four points, it's clear, right? So state is the minimal set of variables, and uh, these variables tell the behavior of the system. The state variables are set of variables which determine the system dynamically, and the state vectors are the collection of n set of state variables. And the state spaces where n dimensional spaces are there, whose coordinate axes have n number of state variables, and because of this, we can determine the behavior of the system completely. So let's go to the state model representation of a system. so here for a system this is a system and here the inputs are not x but u1 of t u2 of t u3 of t and so on un of t and in this system that states where state variables are x1 of t x2 of t and so on xn of t and the outputs are y1 of t y2 of t and so on yn of t so instead of using x for the input denotation we are using u as the input and the output is denoted as y of t so now we'll discuss some points which are used in state model representation so in state model representation the whatever the state variable was there x when this gets differentiated with respect to t we write it as x dot and when it is differentiated twice with respect to t we put a double dot and uh, similarly if it is differentiated thrice with respect to t then it will get three dots on its head so this is a function of first function of x of t and u of t this is the second function of x of t and u of t this you can say this is the third function of x of t and u of t so this is the first order this is the second order and this is the third order differential equations are uh, which are given by the state space analysis and one important point to consider is the state model of the lti system and the first order differential equation can be written as x dot is equals to ax plus bu here a x b u all are matrix where a is a n cross n matrix b 
is a m cross m matrix and uh, x is n cross 1 matrix and u is m cross 1 matrix so a, a and x are together b and u are together and now here y can be written as cx plus du again these all are matrices and uh, here c is p cross m matrix d is p cross m matrix and uh, x is again n cross 1 matrix and y is p cross 1 matrix so c and x are written together d and u are written together by solving the questions most of the time d comes to zero hence this is the uh, state model of an lti system and uh, these two things are really important which we will be using in the entire chapter so keep it these points in mind i'm not explaining the entire thing of this thing because the video will get long and uh, i won't get time to record the next videos that's why i have made it as short as possible so state state variable state vector state space and uh, state model representation and uh, in last state model of an lti system and uh, remember this equation because it's important and uh, yeah that's it for this video and stay tuned for next video i'll be posting it as soon as possible thanks for watching